For this demonstration, we're using the data we gathered on the worksheet from the ResNet Quick Guide uh, to enter it into the iTech ResNet um, iPhone app. So this is a, an iPhone app. You can find a link on our website, energyconservatory.com, um, in I, uh, that'll bring you to iTunes, where you can um, you can do a free download uh, for the uh, for this iPhone app. We don't have it uh, for any other phones yet, just, just the iPhone. We may in the future, but for now, it's just uh, just for the iPhone app. Um, after you download it, it'll bring you to this screen. And the first step will be to go to um, the global settings um, section down here. You can see in the bottom center. Um, we'll click on that. And that'll bring you to uh, the global settings page where you'll enter you know, we're assuming you've got a Model 3 blower door fan, and you'll enter the serial number here. If um, if you've had a custom calibration, which is pretty rare, um, you can enter that date here. The pressure gauge DG700, you can enter the serial number and the calibration date for that. Then you'll go back to projects, so we'll click on projects on the bottom corner here, brings you back to the screen. and what we'll do now is is we can enter a new uh, project. So if you click on the plus button, it'll it'll bring you up a screen where you can save the name of the file. And in this case, it was uh, Jones 455 is is the file we're using. So after you've created a file, it'll show up on this list here, and then to start, you'll click on that. And that brings us to the the test data. Um, page and you can choose between pressurization and depressurization. We'll enter the indoor temp, outdoor temp, site altitude, and the time averaging period is a default of 10. And then the test date, we'll click on the blue arrow and enter the test date here. So all this information has been, been entered in already. And the next step will be to enter the baseline readings in. So we'll click the blue arrow on the side here. It'll bring us to the next screen or on your iPhone app, you could tap it. Um, we'll enter in our five 10 second average baseline readings uh, from our data sheet. And the software will automatically average them and give us the baseline range and, and tell you what the level of accuracy is. And in this case, it's standard. So then we'll click or tap back, and um, we've got our baselines entered in, so then we'll enter our test readings in. We'll click on that blue box, and um, we'll enter in our building pressure off of our sheet, and we had ring A on and a blow door at 2,000. So that's, that's uh, about all of our data entry. And then the nice feature about this, one of the nice features about the I, uh, Tech ResNet is when you go to this page and, and click on um, you can click on standard satellite or hybrid. It, it'll pull in the uh, the geotag, the longitude and, and latitude uh, of the location you're in, and it'll also give you an image uh, from above of uh, of the building you're doing the testing on. And this this happens to be our the Energy Conservatory building in this red pin is kind of where my desk is there. Uh, not really. Uh, and the date, um, and it, it, it gives you a timestamp too. So that's really nice, you know, if you're doing um, energy star testing or energy code testing, you've got, you've got a, um, you know, it, you've got something showing where you were and, and also the, the image from above of the location of where you are. Uh, so that's a nice feature, plus a date and a timestamp. Uh, and then we'll go back to the test uh, test readings page, and then you can also enter one photo in. If you click on the the other the next arrow, you can take a photo of the blower door set up, or you can take a photo of the gauge, or take a photo of the front of the house. Um, something that will show, um, you know, another confirmation that you were there on that date at that time, and this is your blower door reading. So. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Um, then we'll let's go back one more step. And then the next step, um, if 
you know, as you're, those of you who are familiar with iPads or, or iPhones, if, if you swipe across it, it'll, it'll move over to the page on the side. And here is where you'll enter the project name, uh, project number, customer name, address, um, state and zip, contact information. And then um, next is, is the report, so it'll generate a report based on the information you entered in. Or you could email the test file. Um, the nice thing about, about emailing a test file to your client um, or building inspector is that it has those photos in it. Um, you know, the geotag timestamp and the photos. Uh, but um, this is showing it's a, it's a one-page report, and this is the first half. Um, it's showing your, your corrected uh, at CFM 50, where it's corrected for temperature and altitude. And um, the standard level of accuracy on this one, uh, it calculates air change per hour because you do enter the volume in. And uh, effective leakage area, the date, uh, project number, if any, the, the homeowner contact information, and uh, volume floor area and height of the building are all taken into consideration there. And then the second half of the report shows the pressure the building was at. Um, and that's a nominal, the, the, not the adjusted. The, the building was actually at 50 pascals, but it's showing 55.6 because our baseline was high, a 5.6 baseline. Um, the nominal fan flow of 2000, um, ring A, model three. If you enter serial numbers, they'll come up here, indoor and outdoor temperature, time averaging period. Um, and then the, the geotag information, uh, um, longitude, latitude, the timestamp, and the site elevation. Um, so it uh, it's a nice nice application for uh, entering in uh, the data you collect from a one point test and generating a nice report.